Hey everybody, this is Elena and today I'm going to bring to you the foundation tag. I saw the second Emily Noella 83 channel here on YouTube and it has eight questions that I'm going to just jump right in and answer for you. So let's begin. Question one, best packaging. Foundation wise, I, for me, the best packaging of all the foundations that I have is this uh, Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. Mine happens to be in color 46, light 46. And I really like the concept with the of this packaging with the pump and everything. And the way it has this plasticky, transparent um, container. And inside there's another container with the foundation and the roses drawn all about all around it and whatnot. I think it's very luxurious and pretty beautiful, I must say. I really like it. So this would be my favorite package foundation-wise. So Number two, uh, best color payoff. I have to say that I am a foundation junkie and foundations and lipsticks are my, are, are my thing, totally my thing. And I have a lot of them, but out of my collection, I would say that the one that has the best color payoff for me and the one with the best results regarding uh, coverage, color payoff, stain powder and whatnot, it would be the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder sorry, Double Wear and mine happens to be in color 1 and 2, Ecru. And this is it. Um, question num number 3. Uh, most versatile, most buildable foundation. Uh, my most versatile and buildable foundation would be this Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I have the Healthy Mix one, uh, regular one, but I really prefer the Healthy Mix foundation. Is it, it is a light to medium coverage foundation, but you can really build it up. It gives a very beautiful natural finish, and mine happens to be in color 52 vanilla. Question number four. Best foundation for travel. Uh, if I had to choose for travel, and I wouldn't want to have spill... Uh, danger of spilling all over the place or whatnot, I would choose a powder foundation and coming into the terms of choosing a powder foundation, I would choose this MAC Studio Fix foundation that comes in a compact just like that and it has a sponge and whatnot that you could use on the go and mine happens to be in color NW18. It is a really good foundation that you can apply uh, with a sponge or you can apply with a brush. You can carry it in your purse for touch-ups and whatnot and it wouldn't spill anywhere. It could, it could break, but that's about it. And I, I would say it's pretty, it's, it has a pretty good coverage as, as for the formula and everything. I really like it. So question number five, biggest regret. Biggest regret of all time, it would be this Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I remember it was really hyped up when it came out and I went straight away to the drugstore and bought it. Mine happens to be in color 4, Nude. And while the color matches really well and this was promising to be the next color stay step and whatnot, um, when you put this foundation on your face and you go to and you go to a light or to the daylight or whatever, you glow like a disco ball. It's hat. It is filled to the brim with specks of glitter, and you don't want to look like a greasy disco ball. <laughs> so, it is a regret, a complete regret. Oh, I, it almost fell down. So, question number six. As for best color name. Uh, out of my collection, I would say that the best color name that I have foundation-wise, it would be Hello Flawless Excision Wow with SPF 15 and my color happens to be I'm So Money, Honey, and this is it. I really like this foundation, but right now I cannot wear it because uh, this shade is too dark for me, so I tend to wear it more in the summertime. But I really like it that I, and I really love that it has an SPF in it. Uh, it can reflect when you photograph or whatnot, but on a daily basis when you go through the streets, it is really good to have an extra protection on your face. So. Question number seven would be, which is the least used foundation that you have? And mine would be the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. And it, this is the color 102 Nude. And 
I don't wear this at all. I mean, I have worn it a couple, a couple, three times. I've given it a try, and I haven't returned it to the drugstore because here in Spain we don't have good returning policies and whatnot. But this foundation, it while it really matches with my skin and whatnot, it oxidizes on me like there's no tomorrow, and I become an orange thingy that goes around the, the house or the streets or whatever. So no, I become orange and no one to and, and, and nobody wants to look orange. So this is a pass for me. Question number eight would be the most used, most loved foundation. And for me, uh, I discovered this uh, on YouTube, not exactly this foundation, but on YouTube. They talk a lot about uh, Cover Girl 3-in-1. And I discovered that Cover Girl and Max Factor are sister companies, one in Europe, one in the US. So I went to the drugstore and I found the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Foundation 3-in-1. Mine happens to be in color. 60 sand and this is it and it's you can see this is the second bottle that I have and it's pretty down here and this is but cost. I tend to gravitate towards it on an everyday basis when I don't want to give too much thought into my makeup I just take a pump of this and dot it into my face take a sponge um, blend it in whatnot and good to go I really like the coverage the color the payoff the staying power and everything and I love the price so this is it so I hope that you really enjoy watching this tag. I really encourage you to record the video of your own if you feel like it. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the button down below to keep you updated. And see you in the next one. Bye!